In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make both horizontal and vertical scrollable sections in Figma. So let's dive in. All right, here we have this YouTube app homepage. And what we are going to do is make this tag section, this particular section scrollable. So we should be able to scroll horizontally here. The same thing applies to this short section. We should be able to scroll horizontally here as well. And also we need to make this content section that includes all these video posts scrollable vertically. Okay, in order to make scrollable sections in Figma, the first thing we need to have is overflowing content. What do I mean by that? If I select this tags frame, as you can see here, I have this tags frame. It's an auto layout frame. And inside I have these elements, okay? We have this explore tag. We have this particular line, this separator. And also we have this tags container that includes a few tags. And as you can see, this frame is so large and we have more than just four tags, okay? If I just hit shift and O, to switch over to the outline mode, you'll see that I have these additional tags that are overflowing, but we are not able to see them. Why? Because if I select this home page frame, this home frame, you will see that we have this clip content checkbox checked. That's why we are not able to see the overflowing content. If I just uncheck that, you'll see that we have all these tags that are outside our main frame. And that's exactly what we need when we want to make sections scrollable in Figma. That's so important because without overflowing content, it's not possible to make things scrollable in Figma. Okay. The same thing applies to this short section. As you can see, we have all these shorts and we have overflowing content here and we need to make this section scrollable as well. And also, as you can see, we have a few other video posts that are overflowing vertically. Okay. So if I just select this home page and just check this checkbox, we won't be able to see them. I'm going to keep it unchecked to make it easier for you to comprehend the whole concept of scrolling in Figma. Okay. All right. So let's start by making this section scrollable. If I select this tax frame and I head over to the prototype tab, here you'll see we have this scroll behavior section and we have this overflow option that is set to no scrolling by default. If I just open it up, here I have three different options. I have horizontal, vertical, and both directions. Here we want to have a horizontal scroll effect, okay? So I'm going to set it to horizontal, and you might say that, all right, it should work now. But that's not the case. Let me prove that to you. I'm going to hit shift and space to preview my design. Alternatively, you can just open up this drop down menu and click on this preview. And here, if I try to scroll it, you'll see that it's not working. Why? Because we need to do one more thing to make it work. Here, if I select this tax frame, I need to decrease its width to fit our home page frame. Okay. So I'm going to hold down the control or command key on my keyboard, left click and drag and make sure that it fits your screen like that. But we can still see these overflowing content. So you know what to do. While this tax frame is selected, just check this clip content checkbox like that. And now we are no longer able to see them. And that's exactly what we need to do. And now, as you can see, we have this horizontal scroll effect. And that's exactly what we needed. However, here we have an issue on the right side. As you can see, we don't have any padding here and that's not good. So let's fix that quickly. To fix this issue, I'm just going to select this tags container frame that contains all these tags here. And if I just switch over to the outline mode for a second to be able to see the content, you will see that inside I don't have any padding. Okay. So what we can do is select this frame, this tags container frame, and just head over to the auto layout section, click on this little icon, individual padding. And I'm going to add some padding to the right side. So here on the left side of this header section, we have a 12 pixel padding. Therefore, I'm going to select this section once again and add a 12 pixel right padding to this section, just right padding. We don't need any left padding here. So I'm going to set it to 12, just like this. As you can see, now we have some empty space on the right side. And that's exactly what we need. Now, 
let's preview it once again and let's see whether it's fixed or not yes as you can see it's fixed before we move on i'd like to take a moment to introduce our today's sponsor Wix Studio. If you're a freelance web designer or you own a design agency and you're looking for a way to create complex and cutting edge websites for your clients, then you should check out Wix Studio. It's an intuitive platform that empowers designers to bring their creative visions to life without the need for extensive coding knowledge. With Wix Studio, you can streamline your web design process, save time, and deliver top notch websites with advanced interactions and animations that not only look great, but also perform seamlessly across various devices. So check out the links in the description and take your web design business to the next level. All right, the first part is done. Now it's time to move on to the second part. So now we need to make this short section scrollable as well. You know what to do. You just need to select this shorts frame that includes all these shorts like this. As you can see, we have overflowing content, okay? Then you need to head over to prototype and just set the overflow option to horizontal. And as soon as I do that, I get this warning. If I just hover over it, it says for scrolling to work on this frame, the content needs to be bigger than the frame. And it's not the case now. That's why we need to decrease the width of this parent frame to make the content inside bigger, okay? So here, I'm gonna hold down the command or control key on my keyboard and just left click and drag, just like this, okay? And then I'm just gonna make this checkbox checked and we are good to go. Let's give it a try. There we go, our shorts are scrollable as well. And there is one more thing to do. We need to make our main content scrollable vertically, okay? So to do that, I'm just gonna select this content frame that includes all these sections, these videos and also this short section. Then let's head over to prototype and just change the overflow option to vertical this time. And now just decrease its height like that. Hold down the control key or command key and just decrease its height. And finally, you need to check this checkbox, clip content. And let's see whether it works or not. There we go. It works perfectly. So now we have multiple scrollable sections within one page. If you want to learn how to make your design responsive using Figma variables, make sure to check out this video on the screen. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more design tutorials. Have a beautiful day and see you next time.